them to places. Mm -hmm. And they sing in the church, they lead worship, they do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So it's a singing family. My husband, mm -hmm. may so rest in peace. It's a pleasant mm -hmm. memory. Be happy to sing. Mm -hmm. I heard her paying tribute to him yeah. when she was introducing yeah. the program. Yeah. So we all used to sing at home. And they started like kids in the house. We love, we love to compete, you know. So some evenings after we had a, 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 a dinner, what will happen is that we'll just, okay, this is the stage. We are all getting into competition now. How to get the touch, we use the touch light as a microphone. Anyone who has to go on stage, take the touch, and you introduce your song, and then you sing it our hearing, and then we make, we make, you know, we greet, you know, give marks. So that's how they started off. In fact, they were still very small. The twins who follow her were about four years old at the time. She was about six years old, and so we all started singing. And, uh, I will lead in the singing. This means that uh, you, you give them encouragement to go ahead with it. Because, you know, in some homes, uh, parents always, you know, scare their children. No, don't sing. We want you to study. Don't play football. We fail to understand that the personal talents may be what bring up the children to more apart from the education. Will you give them that support in their brain? Yeah. You see, if I were not the type to encourage, I would not even join them in competing at home. You know? So each time we sang at home, we were competing. And I knew that anyone who was like the best, I gave a prize. So the best at home. So that, that kind of encouraged them to sing. Besides that, you see, I, I came to discover that even though my entire family was a singing family, Bemo excelled. You know, she, she she took to singing more than the rest of the, the children. And so we encouraged her. We encouraged her. The, the person she follows sings even better than her. Wow. Yeah, babe. And the person that one follows sings even better than that one. So everybody sings, but she took it as, you know, her own way of life. Away from education, she, she, she decided to become an artist. And we all you know, gave her the support. And today I can say that I'm thankful to God because it, it begins with God, yes. What spurred us to sing was not secular music. What we used to do at home every evening was, you know, church songs, songs from the hymnary, the, the songs that we sing in church, and they will come, we, 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 we kind of compete amongst ourselves. And, you know, that, that spurred her up. It was like that, God, God used her like a trigger, you know, to trigger what, what was like a gift inside of her. And then it, it had to pop up, you know. And when it did, we all gave her our support, and we are just thank God because it started with him. And always I will say, besides being a singing family, we are a praying family. More so because we are all born again. Yes. See, being born again is not a matter of an hour show. It's a matter of the heart. And so I, I just glorify God because Scripture says that He knew us. He predestined us even before the foundations of the world. And so He knew that my family would be a singing family. He knew that we are all going to become children of God because Scripture says that you see, when he predestined us, what else did he do? After he predestined us, he predestined us to be what? To be adopted as children unto him. Yeah, through Christ in love. And that's what I see happening in my family. And so every other thing that happens, I always lift up my hands and give him back the glory because it takes God. So 